Today's TMJ4 on your side. This is severe weather coverage from Storm Team 4. Right now on Live at 3, severe weather could be heading our way. Crews in western Wisconsin are cleaning up today after a tornado touchdown right by the Mississippi River yesterday. But a lot of people out and enjoying today's weather. And we're also following severe weather developing. This is Logan County, oh. Oklahoma. Look at that cloud formation. Forecasters say a possible tornado is forming Logan County about 20 miles north of Oklahoma City. You can see they're keeping an eye on that in Oklahoma. Yeah, and here at home, there's a tornado watch in effect for Fond du Lac and Dodge counties. Brian Goddard has a first look at your forecast. Brian? We've already had some severe weather here in southeastern Wisconsin. It was extreme northwestern Dodge County up towards Fox Lake, and it made its way through Fond du Lac County. Uh, still a little bit of some small hail and some gusty winds up near Van Dyne, and before it makes its way out over Lake Winnebago, uh, this warning was until 3 o'clock, and it has been allowed to expire. But you can also see some scattered showers popping up with the afternoon heating and humidity. None of these are severe. Uh, just to the north of Hartford and Slinger, also uh, just to the, I would say, east of Waukesha, uh, approaching uh, the Brookfield area as well. And these are just pop-ups, but we have that th uh, tornado watch until 7 o'clock this evening for Fond du Lac and Beaver Dam. You can see on the weather graphics, I will show you outside that there is some clouds developing. Still plenty of sun. The clouds are getting a little thicker. They're starting to look more and more like showers are trying to develop across the region. But what's happening is we're seeing a little bit of a breeze off of the lake at this time. And so while it's 85 at the airport, it's only 70 here at the TV station. But you do notice 85 and dew points near 70. It is sticky out there and a lot of prime condition out there for some severe storms. We'll keep an eye on the radar. All right, Brian, thanks. Let's head to the phone now where Ripon Police Chief is on the line to talk to us on the conditions in Fond du Lac County. Chief, sounds like the storm just missed you guys. Yeah, it just went uh, probably six or seven miles east of the city of Ripon. What kind of situation did you see there and what kind of storm was moving through the area? Well, we saw a little heavy thunderstorm uh, that was heading directly towards us, but as it approached, it headed off more in the northeasterly direction, which uh, sent it more uh, closely towards Rosendale. So any damage, though, from the weather that you did get this afternoon? We had one 20-mile-an-hour gust and maybe one one-hundredth of an inch of rain, and it, it's calmed down significantly. Any hail? Because there's been talk of hail with this storm uh, the size of ping-pong balls. Yeah, we, we heard of a ping-pong ball-sized hail in Rosendale. We did not have any hail here in the city of Ripon. Okay. Uh, good to know everybody's okay there in Ripon. Chief, we appreciate uh, your time. Uh, it's a reminder that we're in this situation right now and storms could be popping all afternoon. Of course, we'll keep an eye on the weather. And we want to see your weather pictures. Check out TMJ4.com. Send them to I Contribute. Our website also full of information about severe weather happening across our area. 